what is going on good people of youtube it is me chavez and i am back with another video and in today's video we have a 2020 mega box of panini chronicles football to open up and i think we're gonna go ahead and finish off that mail that i didn't get to on my last video also so if you can dig that be sure to smash that like button subscribe to the channel and click that little notification bell it all means a ton and with that being said let's have a little fun all right all right all right so cool so cool to be here thank you very much for watching this video thank you very much for clicking on this video and taking a shot on an unknown kid from houston hope everyone is doing well i don't know what time it's going to be when you watch this but whether it's 2 a.m or 2 p.m i hope you are having a good day and i hope you are enjoying your your moment I like saying enjoy the moment because no matter what time of day it is, what you're doing, gotta be present. You have to be present in the moment. You gotta soak it all up, right? All right, today we are opening up a 2020 Panini Chronicles football mega box. So this mega box contains 10 packs consisting of five cards, which gives you a total of 50 cards. My math is excellent today. The reason I wanted to open this is because I've never opened a mega box before. I have opened Chronicle packs, hangers, and blasters, and always seem to pull something very cool. Uh, so I'm optimistic about what we find in here today. Also, I'm chasing Burrow and Herbert still. Yep, I'm still chasing these guys. So as I was talking, you can see some of the things that we may find in here. So six Optichrome, including two silver rookies per box on average, and then 10 mega exclusive teal parallels per box on average. Look for 12 different brands, including the mega box exclusive Vertex rookies. That is another reason I really like Chronicles uh, football because there's such variation in this box. I like it more than the Chronicles basketball such variation in this box. And like I said, I seem to always pull something really cool. So I'm hoping we can continue that. And this just says the same thing on that side. And then we flip it over and you can kind of check out what other inserts are included in this set. All right, so let's get started. For those not familiar with the mega box layout, it is similar to your your uh, blasters, sorry about that, your blasters, where you have multiple packs to open, but it also is kind of similar to your hangers where you have all this space, you know, and when you open it up, you just see this and it just, you ask that question, is that it? Yep, that is it. So I always suggest just, we gotta do something with this space, right? Such a waste of space. Even if it was just, styrofoam some sort of padding to protect your, your your purchase but just seems so wasteful i can't be the only one who thinks who thinks that so we're gonna set these down here and also today we are going to be finishing off mail day from last video so i have a couple of pieces of mail that i have yet to open from ebay we're going to set that aside Again, mail for me is just building out my PC. No real, you know, hang, uh, bangers in there. No one of ones, no parallel, no uh, rare parallels or anything like that. I am gradually getting to that point, but for now I'm just looking to build up my PC. So apologies in advance if some of the things I purchased on eBay are, you know, not, not hot enough for you. So here we go, pack number one of our 2020 Panini's Chronicle football mega box. And let's see what we pull. So starting off with a Tiki Barber, a T Higgins, let's flip it up. So a T Higgins, I like these cards, these Gridiron Kings, um, but Wrong bangle, right? LaVisca Chenault Jr. All right. 
We have a Tua. Rookie. Legacy. Rookie. Nice card. I don't have a Tua Legacy uh, yet, so I'm going to go ahead and put that over here for now. And then we're going to end it with a Chase Claypool uh, Chronicles Green. So that's cool. So you'll also find a lot of these inserts, green, pink, you know, and they tend to be slightly higher in value, but it really is all about the player. You know, you can have a an awesome parallel of, um, uh, you know, a role player and it just not be as valuable as that of um, a starter. So Chase Claypool, good player. Let's see if his value takes a hit this season without Big Ben. Maybe gets better because Big Ben was kind of on his last leg. Figuratively and literally was on his last leg. So one thing that I do have here are my little card holders. So that's something I did not have last two videos. So as we pull anything very awesome, we'll get center attention here on the screen and everything else we'll throw away. I'm joking. We're not going to throw anything away. We'll figure out what to do with all these awesome base cards. All right. Starting off pack number two, we have a Judge Judy, Jerry Judy, rookie. Card value is starting to increase because of Russell Wilson's, uh, of the trade that, a trade of Russell Wilson to the Broncos. So Judy, Sutton, uh, Hamler, those are some guys to keep your eye on, some names to keep your eye on. We have a Brian Edwards let me down so many times this past season in, in uh, Daily Fantasy. <laughs> we have a J.K. Dobbins, who I am really looking forward to see play this year because he missed the entire season with that preseason injury. So I'm going to hold on to his cards. I'm not really going to look to move any until he until the season begins because I think he has a lot to prove, and I think he's going to have a big year if he can stay healthy. So another name to keep in mind. J.K. Dobbins. We have a Prism Black, LaVisca Chenault Jr. This is, these are so nice. These are so nice. And you can see that Prism logo at the top. So again, that indicates that it is not a base. And you also see that black, Prism Black at the top here. So very nice card. I guess we can go ahead and put him there and then ending it with a Cole Komet um, rookie for the Chicago Bears green sometimes these cards will kind of fluff or flake or there's a lot of fuzzies you can just kind of kind of pull them off with your finger but sometimes they, they kind of come damaged too so you gotta keep your eye out for stuff like that especially if you're looking to sell your cars on eBay. You definitely don't want to put something out there that's a little misleading. Always be honest in your listings. Honesty is the best policy when it comes to your cars, but everything else is up for grabs, right? All right, so starting off pack number three with a Brandon Ayuk, rookie, Zach Moss, Gridiron Kings, rookie. Is this grid, is it called Gridiron Kings? Yeah, Gridiron Kings, okay. We have a LaMichael P. Ryan. And how many freaking running backs did the Jets have this season? Man, we have, this is new. I don't think I have this, but okay. This is a great example, right? A really cool card. We have a Chronicles Vertex football, but it's of Henry Ruggs, who will never play in the NFL ever again. Wow, what a nice card, but oh, bad player, right? Not the right player. Uh, so I am definitely not going to put him over here with these guys. And ending it with a Brett Favre Chronicles green. So not a whole lot there. I felt like that Vertex could have been a little bit more. You know, maybe if it were a Darren Waller or even a Josh Jacobs or, you know, Derek Carr. All right. Pack number four. Here we go. Starting off with a James Robinson, Jags, T. Higgins, rookie. We have a Gabriel Davis, Gridiron Kings, a Clear Vision, James Robinson, and a Brandon Ayuk, Green. Now, this is a. These are very cool cards. 
I've pulled quite a few of these. My only beef with this design is that the paint will start to chip immediately. So as soon as you slide this into a, a penny sleeve, you will notice that there are flakes all in inside your penny sleeve because this paint will start to chip. And it's so frustrating because these are very nice cards. It's almost like they just lose their value as soon as you pull it from the pack because of that, that defect. So I hope that Panini has a plan in place to fix that because it's a, it's a really slick looking card. And if you get the right player, it's a very disappointing card because the paint's shipping. So let's go ahead and fix that. All right, I did not do a good job of opening that pack because the cards got stuck. All right, moving on. Here we go. We have a DeAndre Hopkins, not a rookie. Denzel Mims, rookie card. We have a Jalen Rager, rookie. We have a Prism Black of Justin Jefferson. This is a nice card. You already know um, my feelings on Prism Black and Justin Jefferson, bona fide stud receiver for the Minnesota Vikings, despite uh, Captain... Captain Kirk Cousins over there in Minnesota, holding them back. I'm gonna go ahead and put you right there. Sorry, Vikings fans, if you're a Kirk Cousins fan as well, but I don't think that guy is that good. And ending it with a Rob Gronkowski Chronicles Green. I don't, I don't think he's that good. I think he's good. He's obviously good, he's in the NFL, but I think he, he outplayed his draft, you know, uh, his draft position, fourth rounder, you know, exceeded all expectations, but franchise quarterback, Super Bowl quarterback, I don't think you have it. I don't think you have it. All right, here we go. Starting off with a Tua Tagovailoa, Miami Dolphins, rookie. We have a Gridiron King, Gridiron Kings of Jeremy Chin. Upside down, Gridiron Kings of Mr. Joe Herbert. And flip it. Darnell Mooney. This is literally, literally my first Darnell Mooney card. I don't think I've pulled him as of yet until today. But it's a clear vision, so I'm a little, you know, my, my happiness is a little tempered here because I already know what's going to happen to this in a few days. But nonetheless, Darnell Mooney. Good, strong season for, for him. I think he has a good future, bright future in Chicago alongside Justin Fields. And then we're going to end it with a LaMichael P. Ryan Gridiron Kings. So I am out of card holders. Um, maybe, no, Gridiron Kings, I'm not really, I don't think they're a ton of value in these. Uh, I think I might have more in that rookie of Tua. But you know what? I'm going to move this James Robinson out of the way and put Mr. Herbert here. Just because I think for obvious reasons, <laughs> Justin Herbert is a legit superstar. And James Robinson is probably looking um, at the last couple years in Jacksonville. If Travis uh, Etienne can come back from injury and be what people think he can, then... Mr. Robinson might be out of a role in Jacksonville very soon. All right. Starting off with a George Kittle, a C.D. Lamb, a Joe Burrow. Nice. I don't know if I have this or not. <laughs> Sorry, Herbert. But um, I have it now. All right. We have a Justin Herbert. All right. Very cool. So I think these packs are starting to heat up. We're pulling uh, the players that we want in Herbert and, and Burrow. And nothing wrong with a Dick Buckus. There's a joke in there somewhere. <laughs> but, um, uh, you know, this is not like an original print. But nonetheless, very cool card of Mr. Dick Buckus of the Chicago Bears. Chronicles Green. All right. Moving on, we have three packs left. Hope you are enjoying the video. If you have not already, please like subscribe and click that little notification bell to be notified of all future content. I really appreciate it. Appreciate your support. All right, so we have a Peyton Manning, 
Clyde Edwards Hilaire, Gridiron Kings, a Jordan Love. Will this guy ever get his shot? I mean, he looked awful in his first uh, only start of the last season, but man, Aaron Rodgers is, um, as long as he's there, this guy is not going to see the field. We have a Jeff Okuda rated rookie, clear, clear rookie, clear rated, and LaVisca Chenault, Chronicles Green. So we are starting to pull some pretty cool cards. I kind of want to go back to this Joe, not Joe Burrow. I kind of want to go back to this Justin Herbert legacy. Very nice. And it is a prism. So I'm glad I turned it over. So let's look at the difference here. We have the same card of a leg legacy card, but you see the prism logo here. No prism logo anywhere on Tua's card. And when you flip them over, you can see the differences. More of a hollow silver look. Very cool. All right, moving on, second to the last pack. I am doing just an awful job of opening these packs. Woo, all right, here we go. Starting off with a Terry McLaurin, C.D. Lamb rookie, a Justin Jefferson Gridiron Kings. We have a James Robinson Dyn Dynagon. Dynagen, Dinagen, Dynagon, I believe it's pronounced Dynagon, and ending with a Joe Namath. Again, so uh, throwing in a lot of these old, older cards, older players, not original print, obviously. This would be worth hundreds of thousands, maybe. <laughs> it's not a real Joe Namath card, let's be, let's be honest here, but a cool card, nonetheless, green. I like the green, you know, because the Jets were green, so I think that's a pretty cool touch. Very clever. Panini. All right, final pack. Can we pull some fire? All right, starting with a Cam Akers Chronicle rookie, James Robinson rookie. We have a DeAndre Swift rookie. We have a Cole Komet Prism Black base. No Prism on the back. And ending it with a Brandon Ayuk green luminance so not a bad box what you guys think uh let me kind of pull out what we have here of note lots of i mean tons of variety which you know i told i said that in the beginning of the video why i really like this set these chronicle sets because there is just so much variety in one box and the chances of you pulling something that you're gonna like, it's so high. And I think for the for the money that you pay for a box like this, I think it is well worth it. I think that you could do worse. And just because you spend a lot of money on something doesn't mean you're guaranteed to pull fire, a banger. So keep that in mind. Operate within your cost, be financially smart when you're when you are uh, investing in this hobby so just a few different cards that we pulled from this box there you go not a bad pull so i'm gonna go ahead and move this out the way and we're gonna end this video with some mail so i was not able to get to all my mail in the last video because i talk a lot and i did not want this video to be a well i didn't want that video to be a 40 minute video so I have two pieces of mail and just to go ahead and preface these i purchased a lot of things on ebay but they're mainly just for my pc so i'm not really purchasing heavy hitters on ebay right now i'm building up to that but i honestly don't remember what these are what well that's a luca so i don't know what these are usually so i thought it'd be fun to open on camera so i like also looking at how people send their cards, ship their cards, how they protect them. This individual did a really solid job with this. So protected by cardboard, painter's tape, always use painter's tape, it's very easy to remove. And then once you open it up, you have the team bag, which is a nice touch, along with a, oh my Lord, along with a top loader and then penny sleeve inside. So I really enjoy the My House inserts that optic puts out and i 
did not have a Luca, so I went ahead and wanted to purchase that to add it to my PC. So I have been looking for a purple, my house of Luca, so I will keep my eyes out for that and pull the trigger on that once I see it. So there's one piece of mail and we have one more and I think I may need the old box cutter for this one. I should have just brought my scissors out because it's probably just the better and the right tool to open up an envelope versus a knife. All right, so here we go. Nice, nice. This is a nice little touch here. Nice presentation, nice little sticker, not painter's tape, but it's cool. It's cool. And so this is why, you know, painter's tape works because regular tape tends to have a little bit more adhesive and anything other than painter's tape, like stickers. So it kind of just rips on you, but we were able to get that one open. So unfold and voila, there's my second My House. And I do have a few Jason Tatum My Houses in my collection, but I, like I said, I'm really starting to uh, purchase a little bit more because I just love this design. And I am just trying to build up Celtics and Tatum in specifically. So there you have it. There is, there are my purchases, <laughs> nothing crazy, but here are a few cars that we pulled from our, from our mega box of our 2020 Panini Chronicles football mega. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and click that little notification bell to be notified of all future content. And with that being said, have a good day. I'm out.